Across Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific, this is the week's Adventist News in Focus. Welcome to the program, I'm Danielle Sinnott. Anti-smoking laws will be tightened in New South Wales, banning smokers from lighting up in most of the state's public places. According to the ABC, legislation will soon be introduced to the state's parliament, declaring sports grounds, swimming pools, building entrances, train stations and bus stops no smoking zones. But due to an election promise to the club's industry, the introduction of smoke-free outdoor dining areas will not be implemented until 2015. Legislation has an important role in improving community health and um, it helps both the smoker, encourages them, them to, to restrict their access and also it's providing an opportunity for people who choose not to smoke to breathe pure air. Despite the fact that churches are overwhelmingly led by men in the pews, women hold the majority. In South Australia, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has recognised the need to disciple men according to their unique spiritual needs. Out of all the decisions I've made through my life before this point, I've never really gone and said to God, should I do this? Should, should I? And, and maybe if I had, I wouldn't have gone down some of the roads and had some, you know, some hard work and some, some things that didn't turn out so well. At a men's ministries rally in Adelaide, men were encouraged to take a positive lead in their families and churches and to mentor younger men. Many of those present recommitted their lives to God and made plans to join men's groups for friendship and support. After Hungary's strict religion laws sparked criticism from around the world, the government has given 18 more religious groups official recognition. Under the original law on churches, which came into effect in January, only 14 denominations retained their legal status, while some 300 minority religious groups were deregistered and invited to reapply for church status. According to the Adventist News Network, the Methodist, Pentecostal, Coptic Orthodox and Seventh-day Adventist churches have now been granted official recognition, along with the Hungarian Islamic Council. Through our personal comments during various meetings and official letters, we maintained that we do not only speak up for the recognition of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, but also for the recognition of other denominations. Adventist young people in Adelaide have produced a series of television programs aimed at informing their peers about the critical issues facing their age group. The series covers alcohol and other drugs, sex, marriage and body image, all from a Christian perspective. Each episode contains a health and science segment as well as music. The programs will be aired on community digital TV in Adelaide and will also be available as a DVD series which the producers hope will be used by Christian young people to connect spiritually with their friends. Well, that's the news for this week. I'll be away on holidays next week, so I won't be with you, but Sibel Coutte will, and I'm sure you'll have an awesome time with her. Oh, and one more thing. A special hello to everybody watching from Big Camp in the Barossa, South Australia. Thanks for your company. Stay safe and God bless.